Hey everyone, it's Baby Bear, and I'm finally coming to you with the last part of this K45 update, which I have been avoiding to do because it was just not the first priority on my list. However, there's been a lot of you asking about free-to-play content, and I don't normally share that kind of stuff because, let's face it, Ebony is really not free-to-play. Um, I... I support you guys playing free to play because you're actually the smarter of all of Ebony. However, it is really hard to level up doing free to play. So here's something that you can do free to play. And if you're not somebody who seriously bots or you're just a casual player, listen, the relics are your best friend. And I cannot tell you how many speeches I've had over the relics that like go in one year and out the other. Nobody just freaking listens to it. I really pushed Relic since the Beast Lair when the Lee Na Nyamosa, Nyamasa, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he was in the Relics. And so that was important to me because he's a pretty good cavalry general and you can get him for free. And now they included Salt and Custer and Tamaris and... Roland's already been in there, but he's in there quite frequently. Electra has been in there, but she's in there quite frequently. So you're getting all these new generals that are popping up that you can't get in the tavern. So this is really important and really key that you go into the relics because you get him on maybe every third turn. Now, when I first was doing the relics, I was getting him every turn, every single turn. And I think that I think that the way Ebony works is when they introduce a new general in the relics, you want to do the relics like every single hour, every single day, because you're going to get those fragments much more often. And just like, you know, just like with how Ebony changes and nerf stuff, once they have it in for a couple of months, then you're going to see a slowdown of the drop rates. So I think it's really important when they have changes like this in the relics to get in on it right away. And of course, this is where you can get your advanced march speeds. You can actually get gems. You can get a pretty good amount of gold. And... I did notice that the tributes have decreased significantly. I remember coming out of the relics, doing it, you know, maybe 10 or 12 times and I would have hundreds of tributes and that definitely has gone down. So uh, be aware of that. So basically, let me explain why I chose the L Lina Mosa guy. It's because I have Martinez Max, but he is an older general. He's an older cavalry general. And so when Lina Masa came out, he was like, I really wanted him because of his HP. I really wanted him. It was between him and Mordred, right? And so he was a new general that you had to spend. And I remember like having to spend a lot of money to get to even open him. And so then like maybe six months later, they introduce him in the relic. So this is something that's important because not all of these really good generals are ever going to be offered like this. So, and, and it, the same thing happened with Electra, right? Like Electra wasn't in the relics for a really long time and then she got introduced and now everybody got Electra, right? So everybody was all hard for Simeon and Alfred the Great. And I was like, nope, Electra's 90 million gold. I based it on that, just sheer shallowness. And guess what? She became available in all the relics. She has good HP for her general and everybody's using her. And of course, there's new generals that have come out. But again, the way that Ebony works is you can level up and awaken a mid mid to upper tier general because you're going to be able to get these assistants that are going to be much much better and then once you get those assistants right you can actually start leveling up those assistants and change things around so the reason why i am upgrading liamosa here is that once i get him to five star awakened i'm taking him out of the council i'm going to swap him out and put hannibal in there and start doing it again with another cavalry general I hope that makes sense. It makes sense in my brain, but I don't know if it's actually being conveyed. But the whole point is, is I don't want to settle for going into the tavern, spending a lot of gems, because now we have to be careful with how we spend our gems with advanced refining and advanced dragons, right? So I don't want to level up some mediocre freaking generals to sit in my council. Yeah, I'm going to get those stats, but I'm spending on generals that I will never use. I will never use them. But here's the thing. I will use Lamasa. When he gets awakened, I'm going to swap him out and use him in PvP, right? So I, um, 
I also am going to use Electra. So I replaced Electra uh, with the Subatu. Sub oh my God, these names. Um, I replaced her with him, the newest uh, Archer General. And he actually works really well with Kagua. And so now I'm going to put Electra in the council. I have enough to upgrade her to the, the 10 Star Awakened because I farmed her in all those freaking relics. So once I get her to 10 star, guess what that means? Guess what that means? It means when I want to open up another PVP march, I'm going to be able to use her and then I can swap her out with just another general that is in the relics or, you know, maybe the Tamaris girl or, you know, just always constantly leveling up because eventually one of those generals is going to be another PVP general. And you're going to see that often in, in you know, bigger bigger alliances that are serious about challenge and BOC because you're going to have like an extra march so that you can hold, you know, a portal and then you can join, you know, a rally with your other range march, right? So hold a portal with one range march, join a rally with another range march, and you're going to have fleshed out generals. Even though they're not going to be the best on the second one, they're still going to be able to hold things or play cat and mouse with things because it's a second march that you can use. So that's just something that you probably aren't thinking about if you're free to play. <laughs> but um, definitely just understand that like the relics are going to be your best friend if you're going to want to upgrade your council. But what it really does is it kind of helps you upgrade your generals in general. And so the other thing that I wanted to point out is that there's three parts to this council, right? You need gold, you need blood of Aries, and you're going to need the fragments. So we covered the fragments with relics, right? For the generals. Now, obviously you can go to the tavern and you can use your gems up to try to land generals in the tavern. But I'm just letting you know that if we're talking about free to play, free to play would be the relics. And then Blood of Aries, like I'm showing you all these kind of like ways that you can get Blood of Aries. So in the Tea of Culture, they actually opened up the Blood of Aries there and they actually are offering 4,000 medals instead of 1,000. So you're going to need those medals when you upgrade up to the five star. So you can do this over time with these types of events. So Blood of Aries, medals, and they even have gold in this Tea Culture event. And so I don't know if you guys have noticed, but they actually really ramped up the rewards in these events here and of course with blood of aries you can get it playing svs so this is why i do urge people to play svs get your 550 million points so that you can get all of those blood of aries and then of course if you rank high enough you're going to get a lot of blood of aries so that is probably hard to do for free to play but in the beginning in the beginning of your gameplay this is where you got to step up. Like when you're free to play, just you got to step up your game and play SVS and all that kind of stuff, because that is when it's going to be easiest for you to kind of gain all this stuff and then hoard it. So that's the other thing that's really important about free to play is you got to learn how to hoard your stuff. You have to hold it. So don't you dare <laughs> upgrade or awaken anything unless you're doing Trial of Nights, right? Don't do that unless you're in an event where you're going to get a return back to you. So that is super important. For gold, obviously, you can kill all of the Vikings, the, the knights, but the gold goblin sevens during the event are actually your biggest value. And so that I didn't actually know until very recently. So now killing those goblin sevens are my best friend. And so they yield you 4 million gold. Okay. So just think about the math there. If you need, you know, 30 million gold to upgrade, you know, the five stars or whatever, just think of how many goblins you have to kill to do that. So you can kind of math it out that way. So basically, I'm pretty sure I went over all the components, but let's just like break it down one more time. So number one, relics, you can do all the relics for free. Just put them in there. And even if you're a botter or you're somebody that likes to always join rallies 24-7 or kill monsters 24-7, why not just start with two, two marches? And you can use your four marches to get the materials and RSS and all that kind of stuff because really, at the end of the day, you're going to need the generals, right? So unless you're wanting to just spend on it, great. But if you're really asking about free-to-play, 
then sacrifice a couple marches to go into the relics. Obviously, when you go to bed, uh, make sure that you always have your march in a relic or the lion's mine or somewhere where it's always going to be collecting something while you're sleeping or idle. And again, this focus is on the free-to-play players, so usually if you can't spend on Ebony, you're probably not spending on licenses for bots. Maybe you have alts as a free player. I think there's kind of like two types of free players. There's the free players that grind and grind and grind, and they will set up like 10, 12 alts that they actually manually log into, right? And they join their own rallies and, and all that kind of stuff like they actually join their alts in all the events to get the free items so there's like the grinder free players and then there's like the other free players that a are either here just for social reasons or they're just here to you know pass time not play seriously they don't even talk in world chat or ac there's the free, free players that um you know they care about the events and such and they care about getting their generals and things up but they just will not spend on it they just will not spend any money so there's kind of like those two different types of free players and obviously the relics and such can accommodate both of those types of players um so just again wanting to emphasize that and i don't know if i brought this up but the lil namosa has been in the trial of knights for the last three months so again another reason why i picked him is because not only am I getting him for free in the relics, but every time I upgrade Blood of Ares, I also get him in the Trial of Knights. And I'm sure they're going to change him out at some point, but it's been Elise and him for quite a while. So if you are looking for ground, I think Elise is a really, really good one that always pops up in the Trial of Knights. Again, if we're talking about free to play, then of course, focus on the relics. So this is kind of the whole spiel, and, and I will be very honest with you. I have told you guys this like multiple times that I am not spending that much on this account. I do buy some packs, and I did curb my spending really, really drastically ever since, I would say even before the K45 update. I would say it was the first challenge this year in March. I think that's when I was like, you know what? Like, screw Ebony. They cannot get their shit together. I spent so much in All-Stars, like, didn't get the castle, had all that drama go down with, you know, all the alt spots, pink gems, all that stuff. And then the challenge was a lag fest. And then, you know, trying to push our friends to All-Stars and then again, a lag fest. It was just, like, I couldn't in good principle spend this money. And then when the K45 update came out, it was just like, again... Like, let me just observe what everyone's going to do. And that's when I just realized that I'm just on a server that's never going to go anywhere. It's never going to go anywhere. We've tried so many things, so many angles, so much like trying to get rid of certain people, trying to, you know, uh, merge everyone together. And it's just, there's so many things that will never get fixed, right? And and all I keep thinking is, is the money that I keep investing on a server that's not going anywhere and that's a problem and the more people that I talk to the more big interviews that I do it's they they're really they're really actually speaking to me about like I can't keep trying to change people's personalities or make people care about the game I can't do that but what I can do is I can find people that are like-minded and align with me on the gameplay and go there because I've already dropped all this money into this account and it is wasted, right? But if I can go to another server that has an account better than mine, that's that might be better, you know? That might actually be a better play for myself. And so um, I, I've never actually bought another account before. Like, never. I've always, always, always built from ground up and have just always been too attached to my own account to ever do that. Um but I can't be on this server anymore. Um, and there's a lot of reasons, guys. And number one is just, right, like the mutual respect and just like that's not there. But number two, we can't be, we can't have our server be run by people that are like 100 million power. And it's always been like that. It's been like these free-to-play players that have way too much weight into what goes on. And it's like, guys... 
do you want to play the game and, and, and use the money that we invested to become a good team? Or do we just care about like all the gross shit that you guys do in your whispers and, and all that gross stuff that like ends up affecting the game, right? Like, it, I don't care what people say about like, oh, it's our game, we can do whatever I want. But you guys end up ruining the game every time you get involved in that drama. Like, leave a game to a game and like, you know, get your Tinder dates like off the game. Do you know what I'm saying? Because it's all it's ever been doing is ruining marriages and ruining the shit on our game. And it just is really hard because like in my life and just you guys got to watch the Huntress interview. I surround myself with really good people, successful people, like good people. And the one thing that you have to think about on a game is a game is a game, right? But when you start realizing that these people are kind of gross and kind of like they're doing all this shit like that you don't approve of. And, and look, guys, I'm not saying this is a judgment zone. I'm just saying like I really can't be around fucking cheaters and all this stuff. Because if you're going to be doing that in real life and bringing it into the game, I can't handle it. I can't handle being around you because number one, I'm not going to trust you as a teammate. I just don't want to be around that. And I don't want to invest in that. I don't want to invest my money on a bunch of fucking... This is like, this place is like a fucking den of sin. I just want to get out of it. So um, I am making the move. So it's, it's, it's hard to give up my account. Like my account is the only one that has like Princess Kaguya maxed out. Now she's got a great new assistant general. I freaking, freaking grinded to get <laughs> these council generals and I did all of this stuff it has so much like source of life and it has so much things that are just not used so many training speed ups so many uh, just everything my account went to 40 with no alts or bots so just think about that my I have like every general I have every single general except for maybe a couple duty generals but what I'm talking about is for general hall if anybody ever took my account, they would be set up. They would not have to worry about having to go back and do all this shit because my account is current. Everything is current. It's got the newest champion. It's got, it's got everything. And I've hoarded everything. The only thing that actually depleted me was the Civil War. So the Civil War, I had like 20k march speeds and those always got replenished. But I ended up like spending at least 5k march speeds on just the Civil War. So that and that took a huge hit on my resources and all that kind of stuff. So again, why I don't really, you know, support bubble and burn servers because it's so much more expensive. It's a lot more expensive. So um, that's like the only big dent that I've taken because anytime I did all stars or challenge, I always bought the battlefield packs. So those would, you know, those would get spent on those events. So it's still a, an amazing account. I could probably free play this account for about six months for SVSs and stuff until I actually have to spend again to replenish things. So there's that. And uh, I just, I just think I did a really good job on it. And I'm proud of it. But I am like ready to move on. So if you're interested in 1008 or my account, contact me on Discord. Um, there's a couple of options I can sell within the server or I can sell it to somebody outside of the server and just know that this account is one of the strongest ones. There might be one other person that is possibly going to be stronger soon because that person is consistently spending on it. But uh, just know that if you start alting and botting with it, it'll it'll skyrocket. So there is that. And then um, the other option is just that I just play it and zero it out. And, you know, I got my investment from it, from killing whoever I want and all that kind of stuff and just zeroing it out and, you know, going to a new server and starting over. So that's it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this and uh, I'll see you soon.